Brotherhood of the Snake is basically that secret society that was formed over 6,000 years ago. Sumerian race, basically, you know, they, what the Brotherhood was, was they were out on a crusade to take down all the other religions, all the other religions were false religions, and that their belief was that their king, god, or leader, Anu, was basically an alien being that created mankind to serve on Earth as basically slaves to mine the, for the you know the planet's gold and minerals. Chuck called me up and just he said the title to me, but he wasn't like he wasn't totally you know convinced that that was the record title. And I sat for a while and I was like, it's kind of cool, you know, especially when I learned that it was secret society stuff because that's right up our alley. When I gave it to Eric, you know, he was like, Brotherhood of the Snake sounds like a good title for the record, too. And it's like, it is kind of like the Brotherhood, make that word Brotherhood, you know, just kind of fit. You know, not just beer drinkers and hell raisins. It's more, you know, a little bit more intimate and just kind of behind the curtains, you know, kind of weird. And that's kind of what we're into, is more of a steak stuff. I know Eric wanted to kind of stop singing, write some more songs about some cool stories and not necessarily about real life situations, which in the past we've been being more personal in the lyrics. So when the Brotherhood came up, I was like, that kind of like, all right, well, that's kind of like a cool kind of thing. I'm kind of fascinated with the aliens and religion and, and uh, secret society and power and control and, you know, that whole angle. So it all kind of tied together. It's unknown, you know, I and mean, we have theories on stuff, but um, it's, it's you know, it's like the occult, it's very unknown. And that's, um, that inspires me a lot. Actually watching a TV series, Ancient Aliens, and a lot of that was, got me hooked in the idea of, and the connection between so many religions or races that documented in their writings or, or in caves, drawings in caves. It always the same connection with these long beans with the long arms and the big heads and flying objects in the sky. And it was like, wow, maybe how, how so long ago they all documented the same sightings and same description of the beings and ships. And maybe there is some truth to this. Maybe there is, maybe we are something about these aliens and creating that kind. So it opened my mind. I mean, it's a lot of space, right? Yeah, I'm just fascinated. I mean, I'd like to know more. I mean, it's just like it's that whole question, aliens or what's on the other side of the world we're living now. There's something, I think. You know, religion really and, and science, they go hand in hand, but they kind of clash because it's like, they don't, it doesn't add up. I don't think any, both of them don't add up. I mean, it's, there's something's missing, you know, and it's weird and it's like everybody's striving to find out what's missing. It opens your mind to think, you know, especially all the sightings and are we being watched and, and Area 51 and how can somebody hold a secret like that so long without getting out. I mean, it's just, there's so much into the whole thing. It's such a mystery. At one point, when we do get the, you know, the close encounter that we're, we're gonna get one day maybe, um, we're all gonna become, all the borders are gonna come down. It's gonna be us against or for them, I would think.